Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders. A great millstone to Ruel and the salute. And the Shalom to all the Akim that are out here laboring and pushing his truth and all sincerity in their truth. Um, go into something real quick. All right. Not all men have faith. All right. Not all men have faith. Now let's get this. In the book of uh, Matthew. I'm going to light this incense real quick. All right. This is Matthew 17 and 19. Well, I'll start at... Uh, See, we'll I'll start up at uh, Khan at seven, it's like at 14. Matthew 17 and 14 on down it says, And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him, saying, Lord, have mercy upon my son. It's like it. Lord, have mercy. It's like it. Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic and sore vexed. Oft times, Slot Khan says, oft times he falleth into the fire and oft into the water, right? So this man's son had a demon on him, right? He was uh, 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 possessed with a demon, right? Saying, I brought him to the disciples. And they could not, and they could not cure it. So I can. I brought him, and I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. And then, so like you. Then Yahweh answered and said, "O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I suffer you? So like you. How long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you?" Bring him to Slaki. Bring him Slaki. Bring him hither to me. And Yahweh shall rebuke the devil, in, and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Right? Now, Yahweh Shah, he, he rebuked the uh, demon. Right? And he left. Why? Because Yahweh Shah, he had faith, man. Right? He had faith. Okay? Now, verse 19. What is going on with this? Are you serious? So I get out here, man. I'm trying to fix this. Oh my God! Well, there's always something. This is uh, kind of verse nineteen. Then came the disciples to Yahweh Shai apart and said, Why could we, why could not we cast him out? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For, kind of says, For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain remove hence to yonder place 
and it shall come and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you right it says how be it this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting right so the disciples they could not not uh uh so like it, the disciples, they could not uh, um, uh, rebuke the uh, the uh, demon that was on them because of their unbelief. They didn't believe, man. That's why it couldn't happen. That's why they couldn't do it. See, so having spiritual power. It takes faith to get that, man. It takes faith to get that. Right? The kind of, uh, faith as a grain of a mustard seed. Let me get this. Mustard seed. Mustard seed, right? Mustard seeds are real small. Right? So, Jake, if you have, have faith, this grain of a mustard seed, you can do amazing things, man. You can do amazing things, man. All right? Back, say, okay. All right, uh, Matthew fourteen and thirty to thirty one. It says, but when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. Now that was who? That was Peter, right? And immediately, Yahweh Shah stretched, 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 and immediately, Yahweh Shah stretched forth, stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore, uh, did as thou doubt, right? So he asked him, well, so he, so he asked him, why did you doubt? Why did you doubt? All Peter had to uh, do was stay focused and look at, and was stay focused and look at Yahweh Shah, man, right? He had to believe. He had to believe, man. He had to believe. Alright man, and this is why and this is why um uh hold on and this is why Yahweh Shah constantly was constantly angry with his disciples, man. Okay? Because he wasn't always gonna be there with them. Uh, physically okay but spiritually that's why that's why he was constantly getting on him man saying listen man you gotta believe man this ain't no joke man you must believe man stop doubting man what you doubting for right Matthew 21 and 21. Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do which, it's like you, do this which is done to this fig tree. It's like you, done, which is done to the fig, fig tree. But also if ye shall say unto this mountain, 
be thou removed. Come, be thou come, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. It shall be done. All right, man. Meaning, meaning, nothing is impossible, man. Nothing is impossible, man. Nothing is impossible if you have faith. Okay? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay? Moses had faith, faith, man, right? Because he he because he chose to suffer with his people then to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. So, in other words, Moses said what? He said, fuck Egypt. Okay? Luke 1 and 37 For with Yahweh Nothing shall be impossible mm. Alright Faith Complete trust Or confidence in someone or something. Uh, the second uh, definition. Strong belief in Yahweh or in the doctrines. Spiritual uh, apprehension rather than proof. So, so we don't need proof Man, because us having faith, that's our proof. We have faith, man. Every man don't, though. Let me get that. I got to start reading real slow because I stumble over my words when I read, when I try to read fast. All right. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians 3 and Con 3 and 2. And when, slag you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith. See? Well, let's get this. Matthew 8 and... Uh, 8 and 5, going down, it says, And when Yahushua entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion, Beseeching him. Basically begging him. And saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home. Sick of the palsy. Grievously tormented. Okay. And he, it's like Khan and. It says, uh, verse 7, And, and Yahweh Shah said unto him, I will come and heal him. This in uh, the, sin, the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come 
under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed, for I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. I, and I say to this man, go, and he goeth, and to, uh, and, and to another come, and he cometh, and to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. When Yahweh heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. Right? So the centurion, he said, he said, uh, he said, he said, hey, Yahweh Shah. I'm not worthy to have you in my house, man. All you got to do is just say the word, man. And he's and, and he'll be healed. That's all you got to do is say the word and, and he'll be healed. Hmm. Galatians 2 Galatians 2 and 16 It kind of says Knowing that a man is not justified By the works of the law But by the faith Of Yahweh Mashiach Even we have Believed in Yahweh Mashiach that we might be justified by faith of a Mashiach and not by works, not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Right? Why is that? Because we are in these bodies. Right? We are in this sinful flesh. Right? So we're always going to go off. Okay? But guess what though? We still have to keep the law. Because that shows what? That shows what? Our faith, right? But we shouldn't boast in the law. Okay? Yes, we stand on it. Yes. We keep it, but don't boast in it. All right, man, you can wear fringes all damn day. Just because you wear fringes, that don't mean you have faith. Faith, man. Okay? Just because you wear fringes every single day, that don't mean you have faith, man. Right? And plus, faith is a gift. According to Ephesians. Ephesians 2 and 8. It says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of Khan. It is the gift of Yahweh, not of works, lest any man should boast. Right? Now, there, now there is... One Israelite group, they boast in the law, but they also break it. You, you all know who I'm talking about. IUIC. Right? They get lineups and all that. 
they have dreads. See? Right? Let's get this Colossians one and twenty three. Let's see. Kana uh, says in the body. Kana verse twenty two. In the body of his flesh, through death, to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. If ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature, which is under heaven. Wherefore I, Paul, am made a minister. All right? Our faith is about to be tried, man. Okay? Faith, man. Faith goes into the word confidence. Your confidence has to be up to par, man. You can't doubt. Let me get this. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what's that scripture, man? What's, what is that scripture? Serious? Hold on, man. What? Where's the verse at, man? Well, let's get this. Let's get John twenty and twenty nine. Say. Now let's get this. This is a uh, con. Uh, John 20 and 26. And after eight days, again, his disciples were within and Thomas with them. Then came Yahushai to the doors. So like, then came, uh, then came Yahushai The doors being shut and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Right? Let me see something real quick. Gotta make sure I get this right. Don't want to mess up or anything. Let's get this. Again, bear with me, man. Bear with me. This is John 20. And 26. 
Okay. All right. So, Yahweh Shah, he appeared in the midst, in the midst of the room and said, Shall a wumbler come? Right? Mm. <laughs> Yeah, shall a wumbler come? Right? Then said he to Peter, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands. Reach hither thy hand, and thrust it in my and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas said, it's like and Thomas answered it. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God, right? Yahweh Shah and Salakia. Yahweh Shah said unto him, Khan saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou believest. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe. Right? So faith is what? The evidence of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, right? So so we don't need to see Hamashiach. We don't have to see him, man, because we know he exists. We know he's in the midst of us, man. Okay? We don't need to see him, man. But, but we, but we're going to see him now, real soon. All right, man. We are going to see our big brother, man, real soon. Hebrews 11. It says, Now faith is, is the substance. It's so like, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the, the evidence of things not seen, right? It says, But, but, it's so like it says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. So without faith, it's impossible to please who? Yahweh Bashem Shah. Why? Because you don't believe. You have to believe, man. For he kind of says for her, it's like you. Man, I gotta, I gotta slow down, man. I hate stuttering, man. God damn. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. See? Now, every brother's faith, now, now, uh, um, uh, um, a certain brother may have more faith than another brother, right? But all you need is to have a have a little faith, man. Just a little faith, man. Right? And with a little faith, you can do anything you put your mind to, man. You can do whatever, man. If you just have just just. A little faith, man. Like, man, like, why do you think uh, 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 King David, well, why do you think he, he was just running through heathens, man? He had spiritual power, yes. But he, but he also had faith, though, man. All right, man, King, King David, he knew he could do it, man. Through the spirit and power of 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 Yahweh, by sorry, 
kind of uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. So King David, man, he believed. He believed, man. He didn't doubt. He believed. What are you doubting? What are you doubting for, man? We at the end, man. What you what you doubting for, Jay? What are you doubting for, man? Seriously, man. Jake, what are you doubting for, man? James 2 and 17. Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, so like thou hast faith, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith with con show me that so like it. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Alright, man. Now the works is what, man? The works is the law, right? And also hitting the highways and hedges, man, and bringing forth his truth. That's the works. Thou believest that there is one God. Thou doest well. The devil also believe and tremble. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered come when kind of says when he had it's like it when it's like it when he had offered his son Isaac upon the altar seest thou how faith so like it seest thou how faith wroth with his works and by works faith was made perfect. Right, and the scripture was, sorry, in the, mm, and the scripture was fulfilled, which said, Abraham believed Yahweh, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of Yahweh. Right? See thou then. It's just like this, like it says, see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. So you have to have both faith and works to be justified, man. Right now, us here, a great millstone. We were, we were called what? Faith-based Israelites, right? <laughs> by who? By Nate and the and by Nate and the sorry, by Nate and the IUIC. We were called faith-based Israelites. Well, the scriptures speak about faith, faith man, and how important it is. So yes, I am a faith-based Israelite, man. Yes, I am a faith-based Israelite. Yes, I am. All right? So with that, I say, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh's child, Bahashem, Rekakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, they will well, and a salute and a Shalom to all the Akim that are out here laboring and pushing this truth in all sincerity and in truth. And with that, I say, Shalom.